Well, happy Saturday again, everyone. I don't know what it is, but it seems like that they've given me a lot of the Saturdays for devotion. But I pray that uh, this Saturday, March the 9th, has been a great day for you so far. And uh, I pray that there is a lot of joy, love, and happiness and peace that rests upon each of you today. I want to read to you this morning from John chapter 10, verse 27. This is Jesus actually teaching. And I want to read from the New King James and the Message Version just to break it up a little bit. But uh, it says in John 10, 27, New King James, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. In the message version, it just changes, changes a little bit. Jesus said, my sheep recognize my voice. I know them and they follow me. And I want to kind of focus on that word recognize today throughout this devotion, if I could. Hearing is an incredible gift. Just ask anyone whose hearing is starting to diminish and they will tell you how great of a gift hearing really is. Many times we don't know the greatness of gifts that we have or might be around us until it seems like they begin to diminish or they're taken away completely. But it was the other day I was having a conversation uh, with my daughter via text and um, uh, obviously, these are being recorded, so I don't want you to think that I was doing some something on social media that I wasn't supposed to be. This was before the fast ever started taking place, but I, I remembered it and wanted to share it with you. I was having a conversation with my daughter the other day on the, on, on, uh, through text message, and she said, Dad, Leo, which is my youngest grandson, Leo totally said your name this morning. And my response back to her was, I so wish that I would have been there to hear it. You see, there is almost 800 miles that separates Leo and I. And uh, even though there are nearly 800 miles that separate us, still Leo, whenever he hears my voice, he turns and looks for me, whether we're there in person, or whether we are making a phone call or a FaceTime message to one another. He knows my voice because we share a relationship of grandson and poppy. But yet Leo was the only grandchild that didn't come out of the womb already knowing my voice. All five other grandchildren knew my voice when they were born because their mothers were constantly around the sound of my voice as God was forming them in their womb. But yet he still knows my name even though we are so we are we are separated by so many hundreds of miles between us. How can this be? Because Tammy and I put an emphasis on that relationship. We do our best to put ourselves there in Minnesota regularly to develop a a, a relationship with our grandchildren and our children, and also when we can't be there through phone calls and FaceTime messages. Hearing has a lot to do with relationship, not so much proximity. So we have to understand that when Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, they recognize my voice, meaning that the sheep has a relationship with the shepherd, the same as the shepherd has a relationship with the sheep. My sheep hear, my sheep recognize my voice, Jesus said, because of a constant relationship of putting ourselves in each other's presence regularly as a priority. You see, it has to be a priority. Relationships has to become a priority. Today, from a social media standpoint, we hear the term a lot of times, my peeps. And my peeps is slang for my friends or my people. That usually means our specific group of friends, but it does not necessarily mean that you actually know one another or that you actually have an actual relationship. My peeps is just slur- just slang for people that I'm acquainted with or that maybe they agree with me. 
You see, a peep is someone who agrees with someone or who stands on common ground. Uh, they have the same beliefs but don't necessarily have relationship base. It's just they just believe like I do or think like I do or they think I think they think like I do. And honestly, I've never been a fan of peep. I've never been a peeps person. Whether it's those nasty yellow marshmallow things you get around Easter time or whether it's the peeps that we find on social media, probably because I'm very relational, relation, relationship driven. There are many voices out there today and they all have something to say. Yet there is only one that is truly willing to establish a genuine relationship with you. And there's really only one voice that is worthy to be followed. And that is the voice of our shepherd, Jesus Christ. So I encourage you yet again on another Saturday to maybe it's time to shut out some of those voices screaming by the world and maybe try to enrich that relationship between you and Jesus. You know, I... I love to see Leo. It's, it's awesome to, to watch him when he hears my voice and how he turns around. And deep down, I only know what he means to me. And I know how much joy I get out of hearing his voice or him spending time with me. And I can't help but think of how much I love to be around him how much more God loves for us to be around Him. So maybe take some time and spend it with the Father today. Happy Saturday, everyone.